Okay, I'm gonna have to call this one of the coolest videos I made because it was so annoying. So this is my Freightliner Coronado with a DD16 Detroit engine in it. And I haul from Worsley, Alberta over to Rycroft. Uh, it's about an hour and a half away uh, with the big truck. And I go through the Peace River, uh, the Dunbagan Bridge, kind of, it's a bit of a, like a river crossing. And if I drive over there and it's like plus five, say, um, I'll climb the other side and the truck will derate when I almost get to the top. I will lose all throttle, like I'll have no pedal. And I have to sit there. And then it seems like once something cools down, I get my throttle back and I take off. So completely derates the engine to absolutely nothing. Couldn't figure it out. And I read every combine form, trucker form, you name it form on the internet. Couldn't find anything. Phoned a buddy yesterday. We brainstorm all the time back and forth. And uh, kind of kicked it around. And I said, it's like it's that when the temperature under the hood. So when my ambient temperature reading in the cab gets too high, and I said like 42, 43 degrees, it'll derate the engine. And I have no idea why that would have anything to do with anything. And he said that on his Kenworth and stuff, up on top of the mirror, which is right there, there's a little sensor and he thought that would maybe be my outside air temperature, which on this truck it's not. But it got me to look it. And, and so then again, I'm looking on YouTube and uh, trucker forums, couldn't find anything, but I thought I need to find the outside air ambient temperature. And so underneath the hood, when the truck calls for a temperature and these dd16s they don't call for the fan to come on until like 220 or 221 so right now you can see the outside temperature is minus four if i'm pulling that hill and i'm crawling up the other side that would go all the way up to like 43 derate the engine didn't think it was possible the only tool i use like all these tools on the farm to troubleshoot help me out I'll use chat uh, GPT as well, but for this problem, I never did. Last night, I plugged it in there, and I'm going to show you some screenshots of what chat GPT did. And uh, it shows that between 40 and 46 degrees Celsius on these engines, there's a safety shutdown for high ambient temperature. Not engine oil pressure or engine temperature, not uh, water coolant temperature, for ambient temperature. Blows my mind. Anyhow, we're, we're moving that sensor so when the fan kicks on, all that hot air off the rads isn't going to blow right down onto it. And we're going to see if that's a fix. So, voila, give it a try if you're having a similar problem. Take care.